Yes. We should all be disappointed. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BB in Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, I don't even know how to say this. This is extremely disappointing and this is extremely upsetting. And it's actually indicative of the lack of awareness or the lack of concern or care our government has for a specific demographic that resides inside of the borders of America. I get it though. Everybody thinks the demographic that I'm speaking on is black people. But in reality, the demographic that I'm speaking on is non-police officers. Before we actually get into this whole Breonna Taylor thing, I just want to allow for everybody to understand that police officers also get away with killing white people. If we keep this a black and white thing and not, we need police officers to do their job the right way thing. A lot of shit is going to get lost. In translation, this is a case about police officers not doing what they were supposed to be doing. The victims of this police officer's mistreatment and uh, whatever you want to call it at this point just happen to be people of color. But this same exact situation could have happened to others the same way just so we could be clear we're living in a police state we need to galvanize not just for the Breonna Taylors of the world but for the individuals have, who have yet to be murdered by the police I just wanted to say that before I even get into this freaking foolishness First of all, I need everybody to go to the BBN uh, website. Go check it out. We have an article. Uh, Chanel Lanise wrote uh, the name of the article is one of the three indicted. One of the three officers indicted in the Breonna Taylor case. Um, use of force is justified. Um, basically, for everybody that don't know, real quick, before we even get into the thing that's that. The one thing that we can say okay about. Uh, one of the three officers was indicted. The other officers uh, that actually they know for a fact uh, shot rounds that could possibly have. I'm, I can't say no for a fact because I'm not. We don't know what they know. But what we know is that these officers, they're saying the use of their force was OK. I'm pretty sure that it's going to come out later that one of these officers was the officer that killed Breonna Taylor. So then they could say, check this out. That the use of force was not excessive and basically was inside the parameters of what the police officer is allowed to do. What this does is this creates a situation where now the city who's already given Breonna Taylor money, they can say, hey, look, we did everything that we could do. This is just the way that it is. And they're going to want all of us to be satisfied. We cannot be satisfied with this. Let me explain real quick. The one officer, his name is Burt. Hankinson, the one officer that has gotten any charges, he has, uh, he was charged with three counts of first degree wanton endangerment. Let me explain uh, basically what this is. That means that he fired without looking. That's it. That's what it means. Um, for everybody that don't know, police officers are not allowed to fire blindly through walls or just fire blindly where they cannot see at just in general. 
this particular officer was firing blindly through, uh, I guess you could say, like through curtains or a wall, a, a, a patio or something. It, it, anyway, those shots ended up going inside of an entirely different apartment where a man, where a husband and a wife and the child was sleeping. So that's why he's in trouble. Basically, no one is in trouble for the actual death of Breonna Taylor. This is not acceptable. Um, the article goes on to say, uh, shout out to um, Ch Chanel L Lanise. The article goes on to say, um, Detective Burt Hankinson was charged with three counts, first degree wanton endangerment. Hankinson, just one of the three officers involved in the murder of Breonna Taylor, 26, was not directly charged with Taylor's death. Now, I'm gonna say something real quick, how you know all of this is BS. Right? This is how you know all of this is BS. The city already gave them a couple of million dollars, like $12 million. How are they going to say no one's at fault? Oh, man, just so we could be clarification, his name is Brett, not Burt. But, you know, he get a dick. Don't nobody care about his name. Now, check this out. They already gave millions of dollars to the family. Now they're saying that the one officer who's actually going to get charged is not responsible for the death of Breonna Taylor. I, I need for y'all to understand why this is so important. The reason why I believe this is important is because that says that the city is not at fault. That says that the state is not at fault. They're basically saying that they're at fault because they're giving money. But at the same time, they're saying, well, you know, it, we really didn't do this. It was just happenstance. It wasn't happenstance. First of all, the officer that went and got the freaking no not warrant, allegedly, allegedly, he went, he was told by the postmaster that suspicious packages was being delivered to that house. This is the story that they said initially. The postmaster came out and said, no, 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 don't get me involved in this mess. I never told you that. So that officer, and they might just be trying to sweep this under the rug and get people to forget that this happened. But that officer went to a judge and told the judge that the postmaster told him a thing. And that's why the judge gave the no-knock warrant, allegedly. There are people that live in that particular state, in that particular town, and they believe that there's a gentrification going on. And that that's how they're using these no-knock warrants. They're literally running up in people's houses, accusing them of shit that they're not doing, and scaring people out of the neighborhood. And if they're not scaring them out of the neighborhood, they're arresting them and whatnot. And in this case, somebody died. There's a good chance that the reason why they don't want to charge anybody with the death of Breonna Taylor is because it goes so far uphill that there's people that want to be insulated. That's why they give $1,200 because there's an order to get people out of that community. And if they don't, you know, put the kibosh on this soon, there's going to be individuals that might get exposed. Now, I'm not sure what uh, our activist is going to do. Um, the Tamika Mallory's and the, and the Mysons and the, and the New York Justice uh, League. I'm not sure what they're going to do. Uh, they also go by another name. I'm so sorry. I can't remember it at the moment. Uh, but I'm not sure what they're going to do. But me seeing the way that they operate, this isn't good enough. This is nowhere near good enough. And we need to keep a foot on their throat. Something got to give. One officer who isn't even the officer that they say shot Breonna Taylor in the first place. Y'all sending him to jail? That don't even make sense. Not the officers who you believe actually shot the woman. They can stay free. But that guy who you don't even think shot her, he goes to jail. Put it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. I think all of this is insanity. I think that um we're living in a country that is giving police officers carte blanche to shoot and murder whoever they feel like, to be honest with you. And I think it goes past people of color and it also extends to caucasian people who don't necessarily like what's going on 
with that being said like comment subscribe join the notification game hashtag bronx bombers let's get it i love y'all take care of each other hug the kids for me i haven't forgotten about you and that's all i got on this one i'm out if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button if you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes please leave a comment all comments are appreciated whether positive or negative thank you very much and enjoy your day and remember positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen let's get it Mike Chai. Simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?